Hi everybody, uh, tonight I wanted to do a quick uh, video and just kind of discuss the um, unemployment assistance that is getting ready to go on because of this coronavirus pandemic. Okay, so with that being said, I have done gig work all 2019, right? And so that gave me an opportunity to file taxes. However, what's on the table now is this unemployment assistance and shouldn't include gig workers. First and foremost, I absolutely agree that it should um, include gig workers. You have people who are out there, Uber and Lyft drivers, who do Postmates, who do Instacart, who do things like Shipped, and uh, pull up and different type of gig work, even people who are extras in movies. Um, and that has become their consistent go-to uh, for like funds. That should definitely be included. I know last year I got the opportunity to be in a movie um, back in October, which that movie is not out yet. And because of the pandemic, um, that release time has been pushed back. So we signed a non-disclosure, so I can't name the movie that I am in. However, it is absolutely huge and it was an honor. But I know so many people who are doing movies and they are extras all the time. They're on Netflix shows, they're on these court TV shows and they're called in by different casting companies to be extras and this is essential to them because they found a way to make sure that it is consistent like it it brings about consistent funds and i absolutely believe that we as gig workers should be included in uh, receiving unemployment especially if this is this has become a way of life um for us and um, it, and because of the coronavirus pandemic, it has affected our finances and how we're able to take care of our kids. Nobody said that we had to go to school to go and work in a corporate America job, which a lot of those companies, um, I even got a chance to ride past um, Geico and there are no cars. I mean, because somebody that worked in one of the buildings actually got coronavirus and they made them go and work from home. Well, everybody's lives are affected by this and I feel like it really should not be any debate as to why a gig worker should not be included. Well, um, I found a segment, um, I'll go here real quick. It is um, from Raw Story. I'm not really sure of the validity or the credibility of Raw Story. This is my first time ever seeing it, um, but the the title of it says department hold on let me see here senate democrats rip trump labor department for attempting to exclude gig workers for unemployment benefits okay so this was written on april 14th um published maybe about 12 hours ago and so let's go down just a little bit it states uh, from one of the quotes it says we believe that the cares act definitely covers such workers and the department should clarify its guidance to reflect this. Okay, well, a group of more than 30 Senate Democrats on Monday slammed President Donald Trump's Labor Department for issuing guidance that could provide states with a green light to exclude gig workers such as Uber drivers and others classified as independent contractors from receiving expanded unemployment benefits under the new coronavirus stimulus law. Okay, so with that being said, first and foremost, like I said, there are so many people just like myself who have taken on a life of logging in or um, going into these gig work jobs, um, even if it's your full-time thing, I don't care. You should be able to um, have the right to do, do gig work as a full-time job if you wanted to, especially if it is is sustaining your bills, if it is helping you to take care of your family, um, if it is bringing up your quality of life, or even if it's just adding extra funds. I don't feel like it has to be well in addendum to 
um, if you're logging into another full-time position or um, should it, there should not be any stipulations to it. If you are taking those jobs seriously, for example, gig work, and you're logging into those companies like Instacart, Uber, um, Lyft, um, you have Pull Up and and other, you've got so many other gig work type of jobs and being extras um, on movie sets and doing commercials on a consistent basis. Those people are independent contractors. I absolutely believe that there should be something in place for people just like myself. There's so many people out there that has found an innovative way to be able to take care of their families. For me, the reason why I turned to gig work in addendum to the multiple things that I am able to do was because of the simple fact I needed the freedom to be able to go up to my kids' schools when I needed to and go check on them you know, whenever I needed to. I didn't wanna have to ask an employer, can I get off of work if my children were sick? I don't feel like I had to do that. I feel like I should be able to um, have the freedom to pick whatever form of work that I wanted to um, that was legal and be able to sustain my family, be able to take care of them. I am divorced with three kids. One is 15, one is nine, and one is seven. I honestly feel like I should be able to choose that type of work, but also qualify when everybody else is getting a, um, I don't want to say a bailout, but they are getting assistance. And all gig workers should be included, especially if we're able to file our taxes, which I am. I am a law by the citizen and I have filed my taxes for 2019. And so I definitely feel like I should be able to be a part of this, um, of, of being able to receive the pandemic unemployment assistance, just like everybody else. And so Raw Story also goes on to say, in a letter to Labor, the, um, to Labor Secretary Eugene Scalia, a former corporate lawyer, the Democratic senators warned that sections of the department's guidance, which is a PDF, appear narrow and ambiguous. And you know what, I hate that, number one, before I go on about it. When it's narrow and ambiguous, that means that it leaves Everybody else, um, well, they well, we'll just leave it up to you to decide whatever you think it is or whatever you feel like uh, should go on as a result of being able to decipher your interpreta interpretation of it. I don't feel like that's fair. You should lay out the law like it for everybody else. Make it be very clear and cut and dry as to this is who it includes. This is who it includes. The, we are definitely like, I've done over 1100 rides, right? I have a 5.0 rating with the company. That means that, and I've logged into that company like I would log into going to go sit at somebody's job filing papers as a secretary. I like meeting people. I love to network. I love to be around new people. And that is definitely something that I fell in love with doing. Um, but let me go ahead and finish explaining that. I just wanted to show you I hated the whole narrow and ambi ambiguous um, statement because it, it just it leaves too much room for people to be able to argue and I don't want everybody else's life in somebody else's hands um, because of this is how you interpret the law no so it says which can make states think they need to exclude workers who Congress clearly intended to receive unemployment compensation through the pandemic unemployment assistance with which is PUA program Okay, so if I have to use this platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever else platform to get my thoughts, feelings, and emotions out, I'm, use, I'm exercising my amendment rights to be able to have a freedom of speech to speak up for other people who have decided to take on gig work, being an independent contractor, to say that we all should be included in the pandemic unemployment assistance. Like, it's just... It makes sense, right? So, um, let me see here. So, David K. Johnson, I'm not really sure. I didn't get a chance to look at 
this uh, raw story, but it says gig workers are typically excluded from unemployment insurance benefits, but progressive members of Congress, which thank you. Thank you very much to the progressive members of Congress, whoever you all are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Um, fought for their inclusion in the PUA, which was created by the multi-trillion dollars. Let's say that again. Multi-trillion dollar coronavirus stimulus legislation Trump signed into law last month. The program expands unemployment benefits by $600 a month on top of the state's benefits for a, a period of four months. Okay, so let's start right there. Even if it was two months, perfectly fine because of the simple fact that this will be able to give people the opportunity to sustain life. Because I got a chance to read um, somewhere where this... Um, this driver who was out in California, he would normally make mm, about, I'll, I'll say a sliding scale, and I know this is a big range, but let's just say, I don't wanna overquote, so we'll say between 1,800, we'll say the median number, $1,800 per week, he was able to make by driving, he was logging in, and that would be every single day he was logging in during the week, he would make $1,200 just from a very part-time basis. And um, because of this COVID-19 crisis, he makes half of that and he has to put in more work, right? So when I think about people who do extra work and they have extras, as in movie extras, and they have made that a part of their lives, I worry about them because of the simple fact this is nobody expected really for this pandemic to be something huge. You know, when you're looking at um, things months ago, we could have never ever fathomed that it would be this huge. Let's be very, very clear. And so I don't want for anybody to say, well, they should have another, you know, other options of working or this, that, and the third. A lot of you all should have more eggs in a basket than just you going to a typical job because a lot of people have been furloughed. A lot of people have gone through different things that they did not prepare for for this time. And so I don't want for people to start pointing their fingers. Well, you're not in this industry. Maybe you should try something else or maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. No, I just feel like honestly that uh, gig workers should be included and that's that so if you all are seeing this video which i hope you do i would love for you all to chime in in the comments um let me know if you do gig work or if you've actually worked in the movie industry doing extras or um stand-ins or doubles or you make commercials and this is how you have lived or you do gig work in terms of the the uh instacarts ubers lives um, shipped and things like that and you have been adversely affected because of this COVID-19 crisis. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. My name is Latoya and uh, I thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm going to continue to come back here so we can see what type of world we're actually living in. Really, is this a constitution? Is this, are you all here for all of us are you really as inclusive as you state that you are are you really really going to look out for all of the workers i want to see that and this is my hopes within the next month that we have more favorable outcomes all right i look forward to hearing from you all don't forget to smash that like button please like subscribe turn on notifications my name is latoya thank you so much for watching bye